Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to enable virtual technology from the BIOS settings of your Windows computer if you're not able to find them through the UEFI firmware settings. So this is going to be a pretty quick tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. So we're going to start by getting into our BIOS setup wizard. So this is going to depend on your motherboard as to what keys you're going to press when your computer turns off and then you're going to turn it back on. So it's going to depend on your computer motherboard. In my case, I'm going to be tapping on the escape key. But what I recommend you guys doing is going on if you're using a Dell, HP, Acer laptop, or something along those lines. I recommend going online and looking up your specific computer and seeing what the key or function key you're supposed to press in order to get into the BIOS wizard. And I've made tutorials like this in the past, so I don't think it really requires too much of an explanation to get to that part of the video. So I'm going to restart my computer and get into the BIOS setup. And once I get there, I will be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. So underneath the boot menu here, I'm going to scroll down using my arrow keys until I get to enter setup. And then I'm going to hit enter. Now, it might look a little bit different for you guys, but again, the concept is going to be the same for everybody who's on this video. You want to enter into the BIOS setup. So you want to get to a screen that looks like this or resembles something that looks like this. And once you arrive at this screen, you want to look for a tab that says configuration on the top. So by using the arrow keys, we can go from tab to tab. You want to find something that says configuration using the left and right arrow keys to navigate. And then once you've gotten to that tab, you want to use your up and down arrow keys to go down and to get to Intel Virtual Technology. And next to it, in brackets, it'll either say enabled or disabled. If it says disabled, you want to hit on enter one time while you've highlighted over it. And you've highlighted over it if it appears white, like you can see that there are certain entries that are white right now on my screen. That means that that entry has been selected and is ready to go. So if I want to hit enter, I can get more information about it. So you want to do that for the Intel virtual technology entry. And then you'll have the option again using the arrow keys to select disabled. And then you want to hit enter to save that change. And you want to select enabled if it's currently disabled. Once you have exited out of that little screen, it should say Intel virtual technology enabled once you're back on a screen that appears like this. And then once you've made that change, most people should be clicking on the F10 key, as you can see on my little key at the bottom of this entry. At the bottom of this window, it tells me what keys to press to get to certain actions. It might be different in your case, but most people should be F10 to save an action. So I'm going to do that to demonstrate. So I'm going to tap on F10, save configuration changes and exit now. I'm going to hit enter while I've selected over the yes selection. And then at that point, you should be good to go and virtual technology support via Intel should have been enabled at this time. So I hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.